at the White House now. Wicked weather stretching across the country in Georgia, a mix of snow, ice and fog, making it mighty tough to get around. The storm also knocking down trees and power lines. This morning, about 58,000 people were with no electricity on a very cold morning. Georgia Power says it's working to get all the lights back on at the end of the day. The power was off in my hotel last night, too, for like hours on end, and it was frigid, but that's another story. The company Georgia Power says it does admit it may not be possible. Treacherous travel in North Carolina, too. That state's highway patrol warning drivers to stay off the roads until it gets warmer, but not everyone's listening. Conditions are said to be so bad that ambulances are having a hard time getting to stranded drivers, and that in some places, soldiers from the National Guard, or troops from the National Guard, that is, had to use their military vehicles to try to help. And a live look now here in Manchester, the same old snow. I don't know what that statue is of. Do you know, Tom? Nobody seems to know what that statue is, but the good folks at St. Anselm will let us know because clearly it's going to be part of our coverage. We need to know what the heck it is, right? I apologize for not being properly prepared. You can't really tell that it's cold outside, but pretty much any day in January, if you look outside, it's cold, and it's cold today. It will continue to be cold until probably spring when the cold will, will slightly go away. Janice Dean, the Foxcaster, told me that, so I know it's true. Hello, Janice. Hello. Power went off in your hotel room Four last night? Four hours of no power on a night when it went down to about, I don't know, 48,000 below zero. But that's so was, the big story here. It was terrific. Oh, my gosh. And how are you going to get back to New York with all the snow coming tonight? You know, we, the truth, Janice, is that there are, there are hundreds of people here running this enormous machine for us. And they're all trying to decide if we make the decision now to stay till tomorrow, right. if we risk it and try to get back, because half the, half the staff is here. I'm I mean, when you get Greta here, you know it's an enormous <laughs> event. I mean, Greta. Come on. I hope the, the power in her hotel stays on. Well, I, we were in the same hotel, but she moved. I oh. think she fears me. Okay. Again, the big story. Greta and Shepard in the same hotel, and the power goes off. Okay, important stuff. We have to cover your weather forecast. And as Shepard was mentioning, it is cold in New Hampshire. They're going to see about three to six inches of snow midnight tonight into the wee morning hours, and that's what we're going to see in New York as well. Here is what it looks like across uh, the northwest and, uh, sorry, the northeast coming into the northeast and across the Great Lakes. Michigan, Indiana, Ohio Valley, Central Great Lakes all getting that snow cover, and it is going into western New York State as we zoom in and fly in and show you where all that snow is moving into the area and again I guess the bulk of the snow is probably going to come after midnight tonight and head into the morning hours. We're not going to see it taper off probably until, oh, midday tomorrow. So six to eight inches is what I'm predicting for New York. And in Albany, upstate New York, probably a foot of snow. And, of course, Boston is going to feel that. And uh, Connecticut is going to feel that. And Washington, D.C. So, again, we're going to be digging out of some major snow, Shepard. All right, Janice, stay warm, stay dry. Coming okay. up here from Studio B, Wesley Clark faces his first big-time test in...